Okay, I'm here at the University of Hawaii, uh, Kapi Olani Community College, and right in front, there's a cactus garden. And it looks super amazing, so let's walk through. These beautiful plants. I'm kind of surprised um, how these cactus grow well here, because um, Hawaii does like it gets a lot of rain so I'm not sure about to rot I guess it doesn't have any songs but it looks like it, some of this is growing out of the crevices of lava rocks but look at how huge some of these are they're taller than the building in the back I don't see any names and they're kind of too far from here now let's see if we can get a little closer Okay, so it looks like this garden is created by Rosso Tarauka. Oh, look at that bird! I don't know what kind of bird it is, but it's very pretty. Are these adeniums, which are like these desert rows? I didn't realize they get this big because most people have them as little house plants on um, like little bonsais. Look at this one's super tall. Some sort of barrel cactus. I'm not sure what it is, but you look at look at the size of these things. I, it's like the size of a, it's, it's, the circumference is probably larger than a car tire, a truck tire. There are small ones along the path and look at that one's in flower. Kind of looks like the, the devil's tongue, is that what it's called? But I have no idea, I'm not really familiar. This one, that tiny one cluster looks like it has buds all over it. Too bad it's not in bloom. These look so small, but they're actually pretty big clusters, but they're nothing compared to this. Look at that hairiness. Looks like it just finished blooming. Oh my God. They're so big. Look at these Sansevieria, and they're in like pretty much full sun, and it's tropical full sun. So plants are hardier than you think. People usually say low light to medium light for Sansevieria, but if it can take full Hawaiian sun, it could take high light. But you, you of course, if you're not used to highlight you have to ease them in very very slowly otherwise they will get burned and look at there's some aloe blooming very pretty okay I'm not sure if you can see this but like right over there the white bird of paradise is blooming you see those flowers right there at the tip of my finger and look how big the bird of paradise plant is so it's over a story tall. I would say it's like a story and a half at least. Close to two. Probably two. And so this is a very, very popular house plant. But you can see that inside houses and in tiny pots and in regular, you know, house conditions, they don't grow big. But look at how huge this guy is. Wow, look at all these tall snake plants. It looks similar to the cylindrical, but I don't think it is. It looks like it has grooves. But okay, it, it's, it grows so vigorously, they're like hacking them back. You see all those cuts? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's a name right there. It says Sansevieria Frica Ellen. I can't read that. These are some larger ones. And here are the big cactus again. Ah, amazing. It's a stapelia. It looks like a gigantia. And look at the bud. There's a lot of other buds. But look how big this plant is. This part looks dead. I'm not sure what happened, but you can see it kind of just climbs along the ground. So cool. Oh, look at this guy. It's blooming. Too bad these don't have any tags. I idea what this guy is, but I don't know. To me, it kind of looks like a corby of it. I don't know. It's like a, it's got a huge trunk. And it's just basically you know, like a tree. <laughs> Sorry for the bad lighting. It's really sunny. Amazing how big these are. It's a pretty bird again. Um, I'm assuming this is an agave, and look at this one. It just bloomed. The bloom spike is dead. Um, I think they are monocarpic, where after they flower, the rosette dies, but then it probably sends up a bunch of babies. And look at. I just, I know I've repeated myself thousands of times, but look at these, how big these guys are. You see the snake plant here? I think this is what Sandy got at the succulent and cactus show, or cactus and succulent show in Massachusetts. Um, it is covered with beetles, which is kind of creepy. <laughs> but look at how big this is. And then next to it, I have something else. I'm not sure what it is.